Smartphones and tablets have now become totally familiar to us all. They have made it very easy to see video in other countries and faraway places. To maintain such services in the future, the speed of optical communications will need to be increased even further. NTT has already accelerated optical communication in various ways. However, a certain limitation in the digital signal processing that forms a base for optical communications has become apparent. It is the CMOS bandwidth limit. CMOS is the semiconductor technology generally used for digital signal processing. Recent optical communications digital signal processing is done using CMOS. A device called a CMOS DAC converts digital information to electrical signals, and those electrical signals are used to create optical signals. The number of times a CMOS DAC can switch the electrical signal in one second determines the speed of the optical communication. The limit of a CMOS DAC is 30 billion switches per second. Even at this speed, with data for smartphones and tablets continuing to increase, we will run out of capacity soon. Analog bandwidth of CMOS-based DACs in an optical transmitter is one of the major limiting factors for the system capacity. In 2011, we came up with a breakthrough idea for doubling the bandwidth of CMOS-based DACs using an analog multiplexer. Two CMOS DACs are placed in parallel, alternating outputting electrical signals. Then, these could be merged using an AMAX device. In this way, the speed of optical communication can be doubled. Thus, the device is called a bandwidth doubler. The idea is actually simple but many technologies were needed to implement it. NTT invested in various technologies, including compound semiconductor processes to implement transistors able to operate faster than CMOS, IC design technologies, and technologies that make superposition of the two signals easier. Thus, it took five years to complete the bandwidth doubler, a device that will open the doors for the next generation of optical communication. NTT conducted high-capacity optical transmission experiments to verify the effectiveness of the bandwidth doubler. It functioned correctly in long-distance transmission over land and across oceans and established several optical transmission records. This showed that optical communication systems had overcome the limitations of CMOS and could advance further. Between continents, between cities and between data centers. The bandwidth doubler can increase optical communication speeds by a factor of two without adding optical cables. We will continue research to double it again in the future to four times the capacity. Other companies started similar research recently. However, we have many advantages of devices circuits, and signal processing technologies. NTT will continue to be a pioneer in the technical field of optical communications. With smartphones and tablets, we will continue to be able to watch video easily. NTT technology is building the future of optical communication. <laughs>